and what I'm going to explain today is how to replace a Quest or CenturyLink modem. Replacing an old modem with a newer but used modem. And uh, first of all, this is the back side of a modem. Modems have the much in common. First, you're going to see a reset button. The reset button will reset your modem to factory defaults. The newer modem will probably have an old customer's ID and password. We're going to want to get rid of it by pressing and holding that button 10 seconds. But don't do it just yet. Wait till you get it plugged in to make sure the modem works and functions and you can actually see the ID and password. Now what all you need to do is, is set your two modems side by side. Here's a line in. Usually these are, are circled by green. The green indicates it's a line in. That's the power line with your DSL with your DSL condition line. You'll take the power line from the old modem and connect it, the telephone line into the, this one, line in green. And uh, that now you have DSL inside the new modem. You will take an Ethernet cable which is hardwired to the computer you're working on. You must have hardwired, you can't do this wirelessly. So you have the, one of your computers hardwired direct to the old modem. You're going to take that Ethernet and connect it to the new modem. Power it up. Now your new modem has the, is connected to the uh, computer. Then you're going to open up a browser window. The browser window will look something like this. a quick setup for Quest. You're going to open up a window and you're going to type in 192.168.01.1 and press enter. You're going to be on this, a page that looks like this. It will say, you'll then quit, press the quick setup button up on that top side. The quick setup will then open up and show you your username and password. The username and password, the username is always visible on your old modem and you probably should have, you can check that on your old modem before you make the changeover and write that down. The password is often hidden. Sometimes you can highlight that password and then change the word hidden in the, uh, excuse me, highlight the password, right click, click inspect element and then there will be, there'll be some language sound or HTML code and you can change the word hidden to the word text, T-E-X-T. -E on the older models that works to show your password. On the new models you can't do it anymore. But if you can find your password, otherwise you'll need to call a Quest technician, a CenturyLink technician, in order to uh, get your password recovered. It is not going to be the password you're using for email, it will be a distinct uh, alphanumeric and very complicated random numbers and letters. Then once you input both those you simply click apply. Once apply is done you <clears> have <throat> now configured your new modem. Remember you need to set the new modem to factory default by pressing the reset button and holding it for 10 seconds. After that process is done that's when you put the username and password. And that's how easy it is. It's simply changing the cords over while the computer is hardwired and input the username and password. I, what I did was I took an, an 8 year old modem, I got a free 4 year old modem, I had it reset and reinstalled within a matter of 5 minutes, tested it and um, using another wireless device within the house and found that it worked much better than my 8 year old modem. It was a real nice upgrade at no cost.